Hey there, so in this video I'm going to talk about the different keyboard options you have and different ways you can type inside of Immerse. This is a big topic because a lot of people are really worried about, uh, you know, can you type if you can't see the keyboard? Well, um, there, are, there are a few different options and so I want to show you those options now. So here we go. Okay, so here we are, we're in virtual reality. You know, I can just feel with my hands. I see where where we are. If you can touch type, um, you can actually find the keys and, you know, hello there, oops. Um, so the first way, obviously, to type in virtual reality is where you can't see the keyboard at all. The thing is, it's not as hard as you think it is. When I first started using Immersed, I just did touch typing and it got better and better and better. Yes, it's hard to find the special keys at first, but the more you do it, the better you get at it. But you can go ahead and try and practice and get better and faster with blind typing. So blind typing is the first way. Now, a lot of people don't like that and they need to be able to see the keyboard. So the second way to do this is to use a, a calibrated virtual keyboard. So let me enable that, and then we'll talk about that a little bit. So this is the virtual calibrated keyboard. Now, right now, this is floating in space. If I enable my hands and I can grab it and move it around and reposition it and whatever, um, this isn't going to help me because, as you can see, my hands, it's this keyboard is sort of floating behind my laptop screen. Obviously, that's not going to work. So what... Immersed does for you is they allow, allow you to calibrate the keyboard and what that will do is it will size and position this keyboard over your laptop keyboard. Um, so in order to do that, if you enable, enable your hands or use your controllers and uh, you see this calibrate button. So I'm going to hit the calibrate button and then it wants you to use your right index finger. I'm going to take my left hand and just put it down by my side, get it out of the way use my right index finger and then I have to touch the letter P. Now you can see the pass-through camera is on so I can see my real-life laptop to find the letter P. But a way to cheat is to kind of look through the, the nose hole of, the, of the, um, the actual headset and then you can do that as well. So then what you try to do is um, press this key over and over again and it'll go around and tell you when you're ready for the next letter. Okay, now Q. So same finger, same hand. Start pressing the Q a bunch of times. Now B. I'm gonna hit B a bunch of times. There we go. So that was enough information for Immersed to figure out between the P, Q, and the B keys where my keyboard should be in virtual space and what size it should be. So now as I look down, I have my virtual hands over this virtual image and if I put my fingers on the keyboard, it lines up just right. Um, it's actually surprisingly accurate. And now if I look down, I can start typing. Hello there. The issue is if I accidentally nudge or move the laptop, now the calibration is off. So I have to go back, I have to hit the calibrate uh, button again, and I have to recalibrate the virtual keyboard so it will line up again with the actual laptop keys in the real world. And also, depending upon your keyboard layout, some of the keys might be in different locations, so this may or may not work for you. Um, but this is an option. This is one of the options. So the second option I want to talk to you about is uh, the tracked keyboards. So let me switch over to that and then I'll explain what's going on there. Okay, so you can see here in real life I just moved my laptop out of the way. And then here I've got this keyboard right in front of me. So this keyboard is the Logitech K8 30 keyboard. This keyboard is specially designed to be tracked in virtual reality. So in order to enable that I need to go into the menu system. So I go into settings keyboard and then if you notice this first option here is tracked keyboard selection. I'm going to select that. 
And then this menu is coming up from Oculus. It's asking me if it's the Logitech K830 or Apple Magic Keyboard. Uh, I have the K830, so I'm going to select Done. And there we go. So now, if you look in, in real life, I've got the keyboard sitting on my desktop here. But as I move it around, you can see if you look in the virtual reality, it will track this keyboard in three-dimensional space. And you can see my real life hands overlaid on top of the tracked keyboard. This can work two ways. You can connect this key keyboard with your Oculus headset, but when you do it that way, some of the control keys, some of the function keys are a little janky. So the immersed folks have this working where you can connect this keyboard directly to your laptop, but immersed is smart enough to be able to track this in, in space. Now a couple items about this, If you notice how it flickers out sometime if I'm not careful. You need to have contrast between the keyboard and the, the surrounding. So if this is a dark wood desk, you it will not work. You have to, you, it has to be a lighter background, pretty significantly lighter background, and then you have the, the dark keyboard tray on top of it. But when you do that and you have that contrast, I can move this around and you can see the keyboard in, in, in three-dimensional space and then that is rendered and it's rendered very accurately. It's got this trackpad on the side, which is nice. I can move this around and you see as I move around with my finger, it's moving the mouse. I can click and then I can put my hands on the keyboard and it is remarkably accurate as far as being able to see your actual fingers over the actual keys. So this is definitely an option that you can use if you like this. So if this tracked keyboard works for you, then great. But if you want to have a different keyboard, then you need to go with what's called pass-through. So let me show you that next. Okay, so now you can see I have this different keyboard here. So this keyboard happens to be the Microsoft Surface Ergonomic Keyboard. Now this could be any keyboard of your choosing, obviously. But as you can tell, I can't see anything in virtual reality. Um, but Immersed has keyboard pass-through. So I'm going to pull up the main menu. Now I have a whole other video all about the pass-through and that will tell you more about that. But if you look, now I see the pass-through cameras and I can see the real-life keyboard. So now I can look around in the virtual world. I still have the virtual experience. And then um, when I look down, I can see my real hands over my real keyboard. And this can be obviously any keyboard you want. The resolution is not that great. Um, that is not Immersed's fault. Uh, the pass-through cameras only have so much resolution to them, but it's great for sort of gross location. Like if I just need to jump over to the number pad, I can see that. Um, if I just need to jump over to the arrow keys, I glance down and I can see that. You can't read the labels on the keys, but most of us don't really need to. You just need to see, oh, there's my home row or whatever. Um, so this is a great option. Um, now, if you are like me and totally nerding out on this tech, um, you can kind of take this to the next level and um, I will show you a way that I've used pass through that's, that's pretty fun. Um, so let me get that set up and then I'll explain what's going on there. Okay, so here what I've done is I've created a circular pass through window. If you look, it's a disk. And, and I can manipulate this and move this around um, with my hands and make it larger or smaller or position it. If I take this disc and make it about the size of the stationary guardian in Oculus and lay it down flat about like this, I'm going to pin that in place. Okay, now you can see I've taken this disk of pass-through area and put it right around me and I have a chair-mounted keyboard tray. So now as I look out, I can have all my screens in front of me and as I look down, I see my keyboard and I can swivel on my chair 
and turn this way and I can see monitors over here and I can see look this way and see monitors over here but I can always glance down and see my keyboard so it's a really great way to have sort of this circular area where you can see glance down and see your keyboard but then when you look up you have all of your screens so that's kind of a fun way that I've uh, I've been using this all right well I hope you found that useful uh, so once again, you could try blind typing, you could do a calibrated uh, keyboard overlay in VR, you could do the tracked keyboard if you have one of the two keyboards that work, the Apple Magic Keyboard or the Logitech K830, or you can do keyboard pass-through, and if you do pass-through, you can get super creative and do things like the circle and things like that. So overall, there's a lot of options for typing effectively in virtual reality, and there are ways to overcome the fact that you may not be able to see the, your keyboard. And in future generations of the hardware, the headsets, we expect for the pass-through cameras to become full color, sharper resolutions where you can read the lettering on the keys and so forth. So it's only gonna get better from here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I pray that God blesses you with an awesome day. Take care, thank you.